I'm Sydney Neely and it's time for the shortcut coming up on tonight's show. Have you ever wondered why you can't manage your account on many popular apps or why subscriptions and fees are greater while purchasing through an app than through a website? One reason the app tax joining me on the shortcuts provide insights on how the app store might be limiting consumer freedom. It's Rick Rick Van Meter from the Coalition for App Fairness. Hi, Rick. Hi, thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. So why do so few people realize how much they are paying for apps on their phone? Well, they don't realize it because it's a, it's a hidden fee and there's really not a lot of transparency. So at issue here are um, apps, when you make purchases in apps on your smartphone or tablet uh, for digital goods and services. So think music streaming, uh, dating apps, or um, purchases that you make within games. Uh, these, these purchases are actually subject to a 30% app tax imposed by Apple and Google, uh, which I think a lot of people don't realize that they're paying. Um, and it can really add up to almost a utility bill uh, that families and individuals don't realize they're paying. And what can be done to fix the broken mobile app marketplace? Well, your viewers can do a few things. One of which I would say is just be good consumers. You know, this is a time of really high inflation and every little bit counts. So um, it's very convenient to subscribe to a service or, or make a payment through an, an app for, um, but you should also check on the company's website and see if managing your account uh, from a desktop or laptop computer, not on your smartphone, might actually be able to save you a little bit of money. Uh, the other thing that needs to happen is Congress needs to pass the Open App Markets Act. Uh, this is bipartisan legislation uh, actually introduced by Tennessee's uh, Senator Marsha Blackburn, uh, and it has broad bipartisan support you know, across the spectrum in Washington, which is really unique at this time. Um, and you know, around 80% of voters we found, you know, would support this legislation. So this is a political winner for Republicans and Democrats. It would also be a huge winner for consumers. Um, it would allow uh, competition in the marketplace for the first time so that uh, folks can pay less for these services that they want and enjoy. And we'll also see more innovation come to the marketplace. So we really hope we can get this legislation across the finish line this Congress. It sounds great. Thank you so much, Rick, for joining us.